Thank you to our year 11 IGCSE art students for your amazing work this year and to the music students whose compositions you are listening to underneath. Good evening, distinguished guests. Yang Burbahagia Dato Lloyd Teik Ngan, Group Executive Chairman, Taylor's Education Group. Mrs. Abby Loy, Group Executive Director, Taylor's Education Group. Yang Burbahagia Tan Sri Dato Haji Ali Mudin, Chairman, Board of Governors. Mr. B.K. Gan, President, Taylor Schools. Mr. Mark Tan, Chief Operating Officer, Taylor Schools. Ms. Siobhan Das Bakran, Chief Executive Officer at AmCham Malaysia. Esteemed parents, beloved teachers, alumni, and graduating students, welcome to the virtual Year 11 celebration evening. While we may not be able to see each other in person this evening, thank you for taking this opportunity to join us in celebrating the incredible successes of our year group's time at GIS together. On behalf of the students, we would like to thank our staff and parents for their endless support throughout our time here at GIS. Many of the students have been here since EYC with many great additions along the way to our cohort. We would now like to invite Mrs. Ward, our head of secondary, to say a few words. Good evening, parents, guests, teachers, the Board of Governors, and of course, our wonderful Year 11 students of 2021. Tonight's award evening is truly a time of celebration. In a fast-paced world that we live in, there's a danger that we're always rushing from the next thing, from one thing to the next thing all the time, chasing the next dream, trying to find the next accomplishment, counting days down, counting days up, and trying to get to that moment we're always striving for. Now, I'm as guilty as the next person of this. Each week, I meet with the secondary school staff in a briefing, and I find myself time and time again saying, it's Tuesday, we're in week four of a nine and a half term, or we've just got to get to Friday the 11th of June for the last GCSE exam, and then it will all be over. Tonight is a time to stop, to pause, to look around, and to really admire the amazing scenery and what the journey has offered us up to this point. I really remember quite clearly the day I got my GCSE results from school. I was in a secondary school in the UK and I went into school that day with my friends to open up the envelope which spelt out the set of grades that I'd been awarded. There was relief, there were tears of happiness, there were my friends jumping up and down and hugging everybody around me and that obligatory photo that's always in the UK newspapers of students jumping in the air waving their results around them. Now don't get me wrong, I was really pleased with my exam results. I worked hard, I had a set of GCSE grades to be really proud of I did have this nagging feeling, however, that was kind of like, is this it? The mistake some people make, and I think I perhaps made too, is that sometimes we're so focused on the finish line that we make this assumption that when we reach the goal, there's going to be this sudden rush of happiness, this feeling of fulfilment. And what I've come to understand in life is that it is important to find that feeling and that satisfaction, but do that along the way throughout the entire process that's led to that point. John C. Maxwell said that success is a daily thing, not a destination thing. Success is a journey and not a destination. This means that we don't become successes the day that we get our exam results or the day we're given out our awards. These are merely forms of recognition of all of our hard work along the way. And when I look back at my secondary school days, it's not actually my accomplishments or my GCSE grades that I remember first. Though, don't get me wrong, those are very important and to this day have opened up doors and provided opportunities for me for my next steps in life. What I do remember, however, is the way that I felt at school. I remember the teachers who inspired me. I remember the teachers who influenced me in their lessons. I remember my friends who helped me through tough times and who I saw struggle with their own challenges as well. I remember my parents who encouraged and supported and nagged me to be the best version of myself. It's really hard for me tonight to give a speech without mentioning COVID and the impact it's had on all of us in the last two years. It's completely understandable for us to all want to put this time of challenge behind us and to return to some kind of normality we once knew. But I think actually it'd be a real shame. I'm a big advocate of always looking for the silver linings. COVID without a doubt has given us challenges. It's given us things that we didn't foresee. It's hampered plans, the best plans that we had laid out. It's thrown the whole way of doing things in the air and forced us to really think on our feet and find the best way through. But I would dare to suggest that it has also offered us something special as well. As a year group, I believe that you've reached year 11 more resilient, more determined, more self-aware, 
and more emotionally engaged than perhaps an ego group before you. You have learned what, what a lack of control over a situation feels like and how to navigate your way through it. You have understood what isolation from friends and perhaps even family members can be and have developed some tools to overcome it. You've had things taken away and have still found ways to give back and not just fall into the trap of giving up because it all has become too hard. Has it been easy? Of course not. Now you're feeling great about the situation today at this moment in time. I'm sure there are lots of you that who the answer to that is no. And are you still grappling with the situation we're in? Yes, of course you are. We all are. In the 17 years I've been in education, I've heard teachers and leaders talking about preparing students for the unknown future time and time again. And I've also been one of them. At GIS, I feel you truly have been equipped, not just with an access to an education that will open up doors ahead of you for years to come, but also a set of skills that will ensure you stand out from those around you and set you up for true success in your life. For some of you, your GIS journey has been long, um, and for others of you, you've joined the community in relatively recent time, perhaps only just in the last couple of years. With nearly 70% of you staying on at GIS next year to complete your A-level studies with us and join our largest cohort in year 12 on record, this is a moment to celebrate and to look forward to the continuing time that you have at the school and enjoying the next two years ahead of you. I'd like to thank you and your parents for choosing to take the journey with us. To those of you who are branching off onto the next phase of your journey, somewhere else outside of GIS, you're definitely not leaving our community. Instead, you're just moving to the next phase of your time at GIS. You're joining the graduating students who make up our alumni body, proudly going back 70 years in history. Here you will always remain connected to the school. We want to hear about your successes. We want to hear about your challenges. We want to know how you're getting on in the next one year, two years, years, 10 years. Enjoy your award ceremony tonight. Proudly celebrate your accomplishments. And at the same time, reflect on the journey that, has take, that you have taken to reach this point today. And also start being excited about the future that lies ahead of you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mrs. Ward. We would like to offer our congratulations to the following students on completing their IGCSE studies. First up, we have 11G, Cynthia Adam, Somia Anand, Ashlyn Beverly, Sophia Dean, Priyanka Elamaran, William Fan, Jairi Gan, Adam Go. Su Mei Kor, Zeng Quan Lim, John Ling, Brian Lo, Leanne Marty, Arya Nadkarni, Alex Li, Philin Wong. Amy Yang. 11i. Alicia Abdul Aziz. Mingyi Chung. Leon Dabrowski. Abigyan Doshi. Marcus Fravi. Gori Gupta, Ika Karim, B1 Kim, Shannon Liu, Ananya Menon, Hazik Mohammad Azmadi. Zolani Nyan Siri Yu Yang Oh 
Shreya Pillay. Amanda Varelia Suliawan. Lynn Sun. William Sun. Darshan Sutesh Kumar. Jun Hu Tan. Charlize Wong. Next up, we have 11S. Nidhi Adrakati. Jamila Blavins. Marcus Gan. Sachnam Kaur. Jason Leong. Natalie Lim. Kai Xiang Lo, Seta Mahlin, Alexander Mohammad Nazasri, Ben Ong, Girthi Paramiswaran Nair, Ali Po. Aiden Rizwan, Oliver Ruohanen, Shogo Takashina, Ashika Opadie, Alex Watts, Venus Vialenga. Emily Wong. 11W. ID Rafik Adam Fong Ka Yin. Joshua Chan. Naomi Chan. Edwin Eldo Paul. Iman Islahuddin. Max Jameson. Devarnini Mandal, Ayaka Mashio, Malak Nu, Abby Thomas, Ryan Tho, Divya Udaya Kumar, Zen Hao Yap, Ivan Jarabiatev. Next, we have 11K, Rania Ahmed, Farah Alangari, Adam Colley, Maddie Chan, Milan Prithvi Alan Das, Lily Gurney. Saha Kaya, Michael Keller, Lavanya Kumar, Yi Xuan Lin, Luke Nicholson, Alyssa Perks. Alexander Road Jacobson, Santana Saravanan, Vrinda Shankar, Natasha Udani. 11L Jasmine Allen, Jonghyun Baek. Krishe Binwani, Paula Camano Lopez, 
Tristan Hutchinson. Adrian Coelho Perez Durantes. Alina Kim. Kai Xin Leong. Eileen Mack. Sky Mills. Tristan Nagel. Yusuf Najam. Umar Sharif. Gavin Sodi. AJ Koskun. Momoka Swahiro. Mahan Vahabzade. Next, we have 11M. Shami Abdullah. Uriya Ahmed Fadzil. Martina Chakarelli. Kiran Ferrier. Jashon Lim. Jeremy Mann. Erling Nilsson. Aris Razlan. Nisha Rohan. Kale Sean. Yi Rong Shi. Jessica Thompson. Evan Yoon. 11P. Christian Anderson. Nikhil B. Balakumar. Minjing Chi. Dhruv Chowdhury. Yasmin D'Souza. Arun Garimala. Jacob Kirk. Darren Lim. Zilok Lim. Shirko Malik. Mishalini Murugan. Isaac Ng. Yenzi Ng. Maisie Prestridge. Jan Robinson. Kiki So. Irdina Shafizal. Chen J. Tur. Rohan Wogheran. Yuan Zhao. Thank you. We welcome GIS alumni Shivan Das Bachran. Shivan is the CEO of AMSHRAM, the American Malaysian Chamber of Commerce. Shivan Das, GIS alumni class of 1979, has been leading the American Malaysian Chamber of Commerce, AMSHRAM Malaysia, since 2016. Siobhan has successfully developed strategies to drive engagement and add value to Amcham Malaysia's membership by leveraging collective and collaborative knowledge sharing. With a focus on policy, Siobhan drives advocacy for the chamber and works with stakeholders in the public and private sector to drive for a better business operating environment. A hallmark of Siobhan's career has been her transition across industries and the ability to weave experiences together.
Hello, everyone. I'm very proud and honored to be asked to speak at the Garden International School Year 11 Award Ceremony. I spent four quite formative years at the school and still hold the experience very close. I wish this was an in-person event because I was looking forward to meeting the generation that's going to change our world. The world ahead of you may look very daunting in the face of COVID-19, but we have faith in you. It has made you see the world differently and that perspective will inspire you to shape the future that is yours. Garden School has given you some of the tools that you will need in this future. I started my journey of believing in myself in the hallways of Garden School. It showed me how much the people surrounded, I surrounded myself with mattered and the diversity of the people that Garden School holds in your everyday can adjust and shape your critical thinking skills and allows you to make wise choices. You are very lucky that Garden International School has given you this. This is my way of saying to you that people matter. Surround yourself with people that you trust, seeking diver differing points of view and recognizing when you're in an echo chamber. This will lead you to make informed and better choices. No matter what path you choose, I would like you to seek out places and groups of people that you would like to spend time with. It is extremely important to use these upcoming years to try things, new things out and to tr put yourself in different situations so that you can experience and see through different filters. In my role as CEO of the American Malaysian Chamber of Commerce, AmCham, I have found my happy space. It inspires me to bring the best of myself to every single day. I do this because I genuinely like the people I work with and the culture we have formed together. This is my team. But to get here, I had to make a lot of choices. I started off in the film industry, in Hollywood in fact. That certainly is not an easy place to find yourself or to find your way. But I did have some very good stalwart friends and mentors to guide me as much as they challenged me. The people around me helped me understand what path, my, what my path might look like and what sort of support I would need to be successful. I learned to ask questions and the harder part that I'm still learning is to listen. The journey has certainly not been straightforward. I mean, how do you go from Hollywood Hills to presenting at Putrajaya? I put it down to being given the confidence of taking risks, knowing that I would find people along the way that will support me. Garden International School has given you an extraordinary gift, an exposure to diversity that few have the chance to experience. Revel in the fact that you have now seen and the ability to see through different lenses. It has allowed me to make bold choices and I hope that it will allow you to make bold choices too. Some of the choices that Garden School allowed me to make uh, in with confidence is to actually go to a girls boarding school immediately after garden school to choose a country I had never sit never set foot on before, before for university to choose to enter one of the most competitive industries to start my career as I mentioned earlier in Hollywood to start my own business to move to China and spend 12 years there to go back to university at age 48 for a Sloan fellowship and to allow it to change my world. To take on this amazing stretch goal of leading in a business chamber so, so that I can have an impact on my home country. The path was never always smooth. I certainly made many mistakes and missteps. So some of them did not come with any do-overs. I just tried not to make them again. As you go through the, your choices, remember to be kind to, to yourself and to remember to please develop a good sense of humor. I'm excited for you. I'm really looking forward to seeing what your imprint of the world will be. So I'll be checking in in 2041, that's 20 years from now, to see what you've done. Because I'll be living with your results. I'm excited. I have faith in all of, all of you. Learn to trust your instincts. This will help you believe in yourself. And don't forget that you have people in your toolbox. They will emerge and they will help you and to remember to let them do so. Life and careers are complex. 
they are littered with very many unexpected turns and twists, and they will be colored by the choices that you will make. My unconventional journey was guided by learning to believe in myself and trusting in my choices. And I hope that your journey can have the same um, elements in it. One actionable and practical piece of advice I would like to leave you with is that you should take any internship you can. You will learn equally well, what you like to do as well as what you do not like to do. So just embrace that opportunity. Thank you very much again for inviting me to deliver this very short keynote address, and I hope some of it touched you and inspired you. What I did not know then, but I would like you to remember, is that the school, this school never leaves you. You will, when you leave here, always be a part of the Garden International School alumni. Just remember that here you have a beginning and they will always forever be in your embrace. Thank you to Siobhan for your amazing speech. And thank you to Arya and Yusuf for comparing the earlier part of this presentation. I will now announce the 2021 Subject Awards. This set of awards are awarded to the top placing students in their respective fields for their outstanding academic achievement. Biology, Hang Ni. Chemistry, Alyssa Zeta Malil. Physics, Alyssa Zeta Malil. For coordinated science, Martina Cacciarelli. For English literature, Arya Prashant Nakani. For English language, Alyssa Zeta Malil. For English as a second language, Min Jing Chi. For accounting, Gauri Gupta. For business studies, Cynthia Adam. For economics, Yi Rong Shi. For ICT, Madeline Sara Mei Lin Chan. For computer science, Sume Kaur. For DT graphics, H.A. Costum. For DT resistant materials, Madeline Sara Mei Lin Chan. For mathematics, A. Tung Jeremy Mann. For additional mathematics, Jessica Thompson. For drama, Kai Sin Leong. For music, Evan Wei Un Yoon. For PE, Zane Aris Raslan. For art and design, Alyssa Zeta Melil. For photography, Ryan Chi and To. For geography, Sadana Saravanan. For history, Alyssa Zeta Melil. For sociology, Amanda Virilia Suliawa. For French, Alyssa Zeta Melil. For Spanish, Milan Das. For Mandarin, Ayako Mashio. For Mandarin as a second language, Isaac Ung. For Mandarin as a first language, Min Jing Chi. For Global Awareness Project, Kiki Saw. Congratulations to all of the students winning their Academic Achievement Awards. We'll now move on to our second set of awards. These are given to students who have shown an extraordinary passion and dedication to their subjects. The Jane Goodall Award for Biology goes to Sadana Saravaman. The Marie Maynard Daly Award for Chemistry goes to Cynthia Adam. The Stephen Hawking Award for Physics goes to Sadana Saravana. The Dorothy Hodgkin Award for Coordinated Science goes to Haytan Jeremy Mann. The Bronte Award for English Literature goes to Madeline Sarah Maylin Chan. The Emmeline Pankhurst Power of Words Award for English Language goes to Martina Cacciarelli. The Ferdinand de Saussure Award for ESL 
goes to Young and Fayek. The Cuneiform Award for Accounting goes to Mohammed Yusuf Najam. The John Caldwell Award for Business goes to Madeline Sarah Malin Chan. The Pareto Optimality Award for Economics goes to Hang Ni. The Sir Timothy John Berners-Lee Award for ICT goes to Hei Tung Jeremy Mann. The Lady Lovelace Award for Computer Science goes to Min Jing Chi. The Zaha Hadid Award for Graphic Products goes to Mahan Bahab Zadeh. The James Dyson Award for Resistant Materials goes to Max Jameson. The Emmy Nerta Award for Mathematics goes to Tristan Yazgaldi Hutchinson. The Srinivasa Ramanujan Award for Additional Mathematics goes to Shreya Pillai. The Kerry Frampton Prize for Creativity and Drama goes to Alexander Rove Jefferson. The P. E. Ramley Award for Music goes to Shannon Ryan Liu. The Roger Federer Award for Physical Education goes to Kiki Su. The Pablo Picasso Award for Art and Design goes to Alyssa Charlotte Pertz. The Annie Leibovitz Award for Photography goes to Aileen Mack. The Greta Thunberg Award for Geography goes to Martina Ketcherelli. The Florence Nightingale Award for History goes to Taha Nechit Kaya. The Anthony Giddens Award for Sociology goes to Fateh Noa Idena Shafizar. The Molière Award for French goes to Sonia Anand. The Salvador Dali Award for Spanish goes to Dhruv Chowdhury. The Bruce Lee Award for Chinese as a Foreign Language goes to William Fan. The Sun Yat-sen Award for Chinese as a Second Language goes to Sadhana Saravanan. The Confucius Award for Chinese First Language goes to Yuan Zhao. And the Henry Gant Award for GAP goes to Yi Zhuan Lin. Many congratulations to all of the award recipients. We move on to the special awards. First of all, the PTF Award. We are lucky in Garden to have a number of passionate and purposeful students who demonstrate a real devotion towards the school community, not just to their classmates, but to parents, teachers, and peers as well. Our first award, the PTF Award, is given to a student who has excelled in all of these areas. During her time at Garden, the recipient of the PTF Award has been an incredibly active, diligent member of the Student Leadership Programme. As the director of the Action Strand, this student has helped to coordinate numerous activities and been instrumental in the rebranding of the Strand. As the online Mufti Chair, they offered crucial leadership under very challenging circumstances, chairing meetings, planning, empowering others to pull off a highly successful online event. This student has been an active member in so many areas of school life at GIS that she thoroughly deserves this award. This year, the PTF Award goes to Arya Nadkarni. On to the Student Leader Award. Student leaders are enthusiastic and diligent students who demonstrate a real devotion to their school. The student leaders in the class of 2021 have certainly exceeded the tremendously high expectations placed upon them and have been exceptional role models. The student who will receive the Student Leader Award has dedicated herself wholeheartedly to the Student Leadership Programme. She embodies many qualities that we look for in a student leader. She's passionate, hardworking and committed, while at the same time being approachable, caring and friendly. She was a key player in this year's Mufti event and was quite persistent in her drive to attain sponsorship under very challenging circumstances, as well as running and helping to coordinate various activities at the end of year 10, again, all whilst under lockdown. Overall, the winner of this year's Student Leader Award has demonstrated that she has the key attributes to be an excellent leader. She is a positive role model who has been a pleasure to work with as she always has a smile on her face. We're confident that she will go on to further develop these skills in whatever she chooses to do in the future. This year, the Student Leader Award goes to Ali Poe. Next, on to the Head of Year Award. 
Garden International School is a community made up of people with specific talents and we're lucky to have students who have wide ranging skills and great versatility within. This year, the Head of Year Award acknowledges a student who has demonstrated an indefatigable spirit of conscientious hard work. Like many of you this evening, the student who will receive this award has worked tirelessly over the past five years to make the most of the opportunities afforded them. Always thoughtful, considerate and thankful. This student has stood out to me personally this year for their ability to persevere in the face of challenge, demonstrating resilience in a way which is an example to others and a tireless attitude towards self-improvement. This year, the Head of Year Award is presented to Yu Yang Oh. The Head of School Award recognises a significant contribution made by an individual student across the school. The recipient must demonstrate leadership qualities, be adaptable, committed, and serve as a role model to his or her peers. While there are some students at GIS who are respectful, hardworking, organised, and others who are creative, passionate, and spirited, the Head of School Award this year goes to an individual who brings all of these qualities together. This really is a rarity and deserves some special recognition. The student who will be receiving the Head of School Award this year has made outstanding contribution to life in the school. Of particular note is the role they've held with Key Stage 4 Green Strand Leader, contributing significantly to the organisation and leadership of many different initiatives, delegating tasks and always performing with a calm, cool and pressure. This student has positively impacted all of her teachers, not only the typical role model student, but standing out as somebody who's always willing to go the extra mile in a proactive way. I'm really pleased tonight to announce that this year's Head of School Award goes to Sumo Kaur. Congratulations to all of the Year 11 award winners. It is now my pleasure to announce the six form scholarships for 2021. Those scholarships have been awarded to the following students. Yi Rong Shi, Cynthia Adam, Gauri Gupta, Su Mei Kaur, Zita Malil, Alex Ni, nee, Aris Razlan, Sadana Salavana, Martina, Ketcherelli, Evan Yun for art, and H.A. Koskun also for art. Congratulations to you all. Good evening. It is with great pleasure that I deliver the closing remarks here at the Year 11 Awards Ceremony. Very sorry that we could not be together for a face to face ceremony. But like last year, circumstances have dictated that this needs to be a virtual event. I hope we can make this event as special as possible for you all. Congratulations to all of the Year 11 award winners. But let us not forget the part played by both parents and staff. To parents, a big thank you for the major part that you've played in supporting your children on their journey. And of course, the part played by our excellent teaching staff who have built up relationships and given support and have gone way beyond the call of duty on many occasions. This has been particularly so in the extraordinary times over the last 16 months. Year 11, as a year group, there are 135 of you in the cohort. Nine of you have been with us since nursery and 21 since EYC. There are 28 different nationalities within the year group, and diversity is certainly one of the major strengths of GIS. We have 85 of the cohort staying on to year 12. That is 63% of the year 11 cohort. Most of you started school back in 2008, and the world in 2008 was a very different place than it is today. President Obama had just started his first term. China was about to deliver an amazing Olympics. The financial crisis was really biting at this particular time. And almost appropriately, the Batman movie 
Dark Knight was the most popular movie of the year. The major recording artists were Chris Brown and Lil Wayne. And think on now, 13 years to 2021, the world is a really different place. Nobody would have predicted what the world would have been like 2008, what it is like now in 2021. Certainly, none of us, I think, predicted this extraordinary time that we've had over the last 16 months. However, the purpose of a really successful education is to prepare our students for an ever-changing world, to develop the skills and the flexibility to succeed. And certainly that is the aim here at GIS. GIS is a very strong community built on diversity and inclusion. It's our aim to be a continued part of a better world. And we need you to continue to set that example. This evening, there are numerous awards given for academic excellence, effort, leadership, and contribution to wider school life. Those award winners, I know you've made your parents really proud. The awards are just reward for very hard and consistent work. Awards are also there to encourage you all as a year group. There are motivation to shine in whatever field. Congratulations again to all of the award winners. To those students who haven't received an award this year, make it a target for next year or the following year from that. Remember, every school year, I always, in assemblies, talk about three targets. It is really important to set targets. They're goals, and they aim to make you more successful in different areas. I talk about targets in academic, extracurricular, and of course, our service to those less fortunate than ourselves. As mentioned earlier, setting goals is vital for our continued success. Congratulations again to all of the award winners. Thanks for listening. And to those who are leaving at the end of this school year, good luck in your new schools. And for those returning, we look forward to seeing you in August. Thank you very much.